you guys. It is me, the Ghost Character 60. Today we're reacting to Gwyneth Paltrow's Goop from John Tron's show. I don't know what I've just said. And I kind of don't want to. But, we're going to be reacting to a video to find out what the heck I just said. And, because John Tron's going to make it hilarious. So, without further ado, let's get on to the video. Vampire repellent. I'm sorry, what? Psychic vampire? Alright. Or psychic vampire. I can't see your future. Also, I just happen to be a vampire. See? Guess who made this? Alright. You guessed famous actress Peter Paltrow from such movies as Iron Man how you'd be right so what you have no idea what's in store for you today so just talk i in. don't sorry i didn't mean to slam that so hard and hurt the beach rocks they got in here so i'm pretty shocked that i've never heard about this before because usually i hear about things like this but gwyneth paltrow who i'm sure you know who that is has i don't been running a snake oil racket with her new age health and wellness company goop 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 you had so many words, and you chose goop. So what is goop? Well, goop, often stylized in lowercase as goop, in case you needed to know that, is an American natural health company owned by actress Gwyneth Paltrow. Goop has faced criticism for marketing products and treatments that have no scientific basis, lack efficacy, and are recognized by the medical establishment as harmful or as misleading. I wonder how... Uh, what? Thinking, they sugarcoated it. That's the worst part. They sugarcoated it. Come up with the name Goop for her multi-million dollar company. I quote Gwyneth Paltrow herself. I was told that all big internet companies had two O's in their title. I mean, to be fair, she's got a point. Google, Yahoo, Microsoft, Amazon, Oople. But hey, that's just the kind of quality you can come to expect from the mastermind behind such prophetic quotes as... Some days I feel like everyone in my world has plugged themselves into my kidneys. I'm so tired. I am who I am. I can't pretend to be someone who makes $25,000 a year. These are the kind... I'm sorry, I, I have to pause it. These are the kind of things you are supposed to keep in your own house. There are certain things to show to the world, like this video. I'm going to share this with you guys. In person, I'd be shy. I wouldn't even be able to see you guys. There's a mosquito right here. I'd be shy and I'd be able to, like, talk to half of you. But it's things like these. You keep in the house. Harvey Weinstein will let me use the Miramax jet if I'm opening a supermarket. What? We're human beings, and the sun is the sun. How can it be bad for you? I don't think there's anything natural that can be bad for you. No. I am African. No, I'm not sure about that one. No. All right, here it is. Goop.com. Oh my gosh. Goop glow. What, the, what is the goop? Goop glow? Maybe one of the most exciting days I've had in 2019. The Goop Glow Microderm Instant Glow Exfoliator. What I love so much. Oh gosh, I understand why Iron Man has to save her in a lot of movies now. I've never watched an Iron Man movie before, but I was absolutely ugly. Just yeah. I got a little marshmallow exfoliator here. Wow, I'm Gwyneth Paltrow, the most beautiful of the one percent of the most beautiful of the population. It'll work for you too, maybe, I guess. This is the sh Don't curse, Gwyneth. Shut the fuck up! Don't curse, Gwyneth. So, she sells all sorts of wacky stuff on her site. Oh, uh, no. Especially in the wellness section. You know, vitamins and supplements, aromatherapy, cosmic health. 
This is just like the soldier boy issue. How bad? Not worth it. For a everlasting love. A lot of divorces could have been avoided. Okay? A lot of home breaking. So many issues. Avoided if more people just visited goop.com. That's where you get your psychic vampire repellent, all right? What the hell? I actually had to the back of this. Vibrational healing through stones, scent, and sound. Selenite, pyrite, tiger's eye, amethyst, lapis lazuli, ruby and copper, love, love. 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 On the bottom there. It's actually there? I wasn't expecting that. Love is an ingredient in this. Oh the my time, gosh. I'm done. Really they're supposed to be like <gasps> some kind of elaborate joke. Can anyone else either? So here's how the game works. We've got four sets of items here. In each set, uh, one of the Charlotte. items is an actual product. Give me so long to understand how to that. And the other is a complete fabrication that we made up ourselves. So I just have to guess what product I you have to guess is which the real one. one. Yeah, you have to guess which one you think is actually sold. And uh, I'm gonna tally down your score and uh, tell you how you did at the end. Round one. Is it Love that the two. mushroom hot cacao mix with cordyceps or Dr. Singa's mustard bath? Well, I think that one, the mushrooms, okay. could be the real one. Okay, round two. Is it Dr. Barbara Sturm face cream with lemon or Soya Bella automatic nut milk mix? <laughs> well, I agree. Is it How Goopy Are You, Volume 1, for 325 Reserves? They're all, wait, were they actually all real? I actually thought some of those were fake. They're actually all real? By the way, I love your shirt, John. You 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 haven't been you haven't been arrested yet? Let alone be possible. When the sticker is properly applied to your skin. Pro uh, properly. Casting distort frequencies which may influence the cells in your body. May. Answer. May. This one says a that bitch. Perfect job. Frequency I call passive aggressive. Okay, so in the spirit and name of science that this website clearly promotes. You're going to try it. stickers are calibrated to 528 hertz and i just happen to have with me today a tuning fork calibrated to 528 hertz uh, whoa the future guessing my man is from the future the other should then in turn vibrate at the same frequency creating the same pitch so it's gonna work with the sticker too then let's see if she sings this works i swear No, John, don't! John, no! John, we can't lose you! We can't lose you! Oh, you should get the stickers on all day. Okay. 
great to really help you freeing up that congestion that builds up in the deep core. What is it? Can you just give me a breakdown of what congestion is in the deep core? Where the deep core might be located? Yeah. Are, I didn't even are, think of that. What is the deep uh, core? All the way. I'm sorry, what? <gasps> no, John, no! <laughs> Whoa, I need that. I don't need that. I can literally get one of these at a short... You bought it. John, I'm sorry you bought it. Oh my gosh. I'm trying not to pause that much now because you guys are complaining about it, but you bought it first off. Secondly, I can literally go to a sports clip near me. They give a massage thing pretty much for the shoulders and back neck for like 20 bucks. Is this supposed to relieve my tension? <laughs> I mean, I hey. You guys, this yeah, I was about to say, you're using it for baking, but... Trap area. Got that Yu-Gi-Oh trap card. Alright. Yeah, it's a lie. You can uh, you can tell so hard. No. Please don't ask that. Actually, probably commercial. Please don't ask not. Oh, it actually is. Oh no, it's. No. What? I was at a pop-up store in London, and uh, she came around to uh, do some PR. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I was going to say, no. Lifestyle brand launched no. in 2008, 10 years ago. Why is this a thing? Out of my kitchen in Belsize Park. Why is this a thing? I just up the road. He basically just said, I've been working here for like 10 years, and I started up the road, but just somehow still sound like the most pretentious thing I've ever heard in my life. This is the first rack. G label. This is the Anna Fair Isle sweater. It's a sweater. One of our fantastic food editors. Food editors. Sorry. Food. Did you say food editors. One of our fantastic food editors. What is it? Food. food. No. Editor. Is that is that supposed to mean a chef? I bet she names everything ordinary, something like that. Um, this is not my maid. This is my dirt organizer. This is the man who attends the door. Our entrance operator. And this is my sweatshop worker. I mean. Oh no, yeah, that's our sweatshop worker. No. We're very into health and wellness. Tonk. So it's all really healthy. I don't use, I don't really ever use. You would like this book, okay? You will like this book. Give it a chance. So yeah, this is our, our sexual health section. Smile makers, vibrators. This one is called the Fireman. Because he's going to come to my rescue. And he's going to come to my rescue. <laughs> Try to get to. <sighs> God bless this woman. She's one of us, I think. Uh, actually, Vice News covered this group a while back, and uh, they went to her wellness summit, which is so creepy, man. It's, it's, like, a, it's like a cult thing. It's just not what I expected. But it no. The summit feels like you're living out the latest Goop newsletter. There are thoughtfully curated gluten-free vegan dishes, wellness panels, and, of course, Goop devotees. How big is this? Has Goop changed your life? Um, yeah, well, we both have gun conditions. Yeah, what do we have? Rare health conditions. It's rare health conditions. It's, and you wouldn't, the doctors haven't even figured this out yet. They don't even know what this is. Well, you're not in the hospital. So it's really for anybody who is looking to have insight, some autonomy around health. So it's not just like you, you know, squeezing all the money you can out of a bunch of stupid, impressionable young adults. I really don't know very many people in the audience. It's been really, really nice. 
I feel like it's a lie. I wouldn't want to do this to anyone, let alone uh, someone I knew personally. It's not that we're opposed to conventional medicine. We just are very interested in alternative medicine, having autonomy. It's really important, I think, to, to ask the questions. I don't get it. She's literally scamming vulnerable people out there. Yeah. And just everyone's okay with this because it's Gwyneth Paltrow. If any other cult leader or whatever did this, they'd, they'd be on blast right away. The yeah. The is not safe with this woman at large, okay? But she's powerful. She's of the elite. That's right. This is America. The only free country in the world except Denmark and a few others. Here we settle our scores with capitalism. You want to beat someone? You got to do it in the arena of the free market. Look out, Paltrow. There's a new entrepreneur in town. <laughs> oh, no. You did not. John, you did not. John, no. John, no. strong conviction that every man, woman, and child has the right to a decent life, do they not? A life free of struggles and hardship. Free of a bad complexion. You're in the right place, John. Chakras, and free of having to read a single science textbook. Our competitor, wherever they happen to be located, exactly geographically at this moment in time, by coincidence, believes you should have to pay premium prices for snake oil. Not so here at Dr. Jonathan Tronley's Medicinal Menagerie. They would charge you $240 for a simple hairbrush. Here, not more than a nickel for our finest Cobra Coma. $90 for some vitamins containing God knows what. Even you're not that stupid. Here, all the vitamins you could need, right? In that snake oil, one ingredient. Trust snakes. Gotta be vitamins in there somewhere. And would you believe it? Good ladies and gentlemen of this fine country, they would dare to charge you three hundred dollars for a vial of simple hyaluronic syrup. Did John, did you get in trouble doing this? Fifteen dollars on Amazon. I checked, got a lot of five star ratings. In fact, I'm just gonna be honest. Everything in there, in that store that I'm pointing to, but not at the same time, everything inside that may or may not be inside that store. Fifteen dollars or less, less on Amazon. Busted bath. Give her a hind. No. Oh, oh, this just my shopping list. Oh. You ever buy something online and then find out later you could have gotten it for less? That's a feeling more unpleasant than being taken to the Tower of London and tortured mercilessly for ten days. Not to mention once that happens, you get the creeping suspicion you could be overpaying every single time you shop. Yeah. I don't have that problem. And now I'm going to proceed to tell you why. It's because I've got Honey, the free browser extension that saves you time and money. All right, we got an ad. I'm gonna just do something. Just gonna sit back. We're gonna call you Alexa because that was the vote. We got Golden Alexa. You still need a name. We'll make a video. Whoa. My desire, it's free to use and installs on your computer in just two clicks. So go get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash Jontron and start saving today. Once again, that's joinhoney.com slash Jontron. Repeat it. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. Uh, until next time, I'll just be here practicing my prose. Zucchini, greeny, aubergine, fendi. All right. Let's just, uh. Is that really what it was like in slow motion, John? Alright. So this was Gwyneth and Paul Chuo's goop from John Tron. Y'all are gonna murder me in the comments. If any of y'all see this, y'all gonna kill me because I've never watched the Iron Man movie and I don't know a lot of famous people. Oh, so y'all gonna murder me in the comments when I, because I know I'm saying that name wrong. But, yeah, you guys, this was this. I was glad I could react to it. And now I just want to say, why is Goop still a thing? John's right here. This is pretty much scamming. And unless you have medical proof that this stuff works, how the heck are you still doing it? 
Listen, I got no idea how you're doing it. And to be frankly, I only half care. Because technically, it's the people's fault who want to fall for it in a way. It's half and half here. Yes, most of the issues go towards Gwenethin, Gwyneth, whatever. But it's mostly that the people also have to realize that they're going to get scammed. I mean, come on. 600 for a book? I don't even know an App Store game that that's much. The highest I've seen an App Store game is 259 That was for cool math games. You know that's a scam then. But, yeah, you guys. Technically, this is just my opinion. You guys can have your own. It is your choice of what opinion you have, if this is a good or bad thing. So, yeah, that's all I gotta say. So, without further ado, I wanna thank y'all for watching. Like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Oh, okay, so the vibes initially are a little bit much to handle, but I think I can, you know, wrestle with it until I eventually will become a transcendent being, I feel. The vibes! The vibes! The, the vibes! Ah!